Well, I guess you'd have to call this the calm before the storm. We're expecting a major snowstorm 24 hours from now when it's supposed to start, but I'm making preparations to spend the night in the cabin during the snowstorm, so in my snow scoop here that I used to clear snow with, I've got a couple of boxes of bio bricks and my snowshoes in case I might need them to come back with. You never know how much snow we're going to get here, but right now they're talking of possibility of 30 to 40 centimeters, which is a major storm, but I mean to be seen what we actually get. Dragging this out to the cabin. It gives you some idea of the the distance, I guess, between the cabin and the house. Not very far. But, uh, I've been out earlier today already and put bird seed out. Well, I'll come back tomorrow when I move out to the cabin. I think what I'll probably do is come out before the storm starts. Uh, they're saying it'll start around dinner time tomorrow evening or four or five o'clock so tomorrow evening but these things start here usually earlier than what the weather people predict they predict for areas that are further up the coast we're a little too small for them to be concerned about I guess so I will get out here and move out anyway and then I plan to cook my dinner and whatever and share the evening with you. I'm out of breath now, as you can probably tell. <laughs> well, hello everybody. It's day two here. This is Thursday the 13th of February. And I don't know if you can tell behind me or not, but the storm has started. It's 3 p.m. Um, and the storm started here around 1 p.m., which was a full three hours earlier than the weather office was giving, which we get used to around here. They talk about southern New Brunswick, they just don't consider us to be in southern New Brunswick, I guess. Well, I live as far south in New Brunswick as you can go, but when they do their forecasting, they're talking about St. John, that area, southern New Brunswick. So, <clears throat> the storm, I'm sure, hasn't started up there yet, or it's just about to start. So, anyway, it isn't amounting to much, not yet, anyway. Um, the forecast has changed, as I thought it might from yesterday. They're now saying 20 to 25 centimeters of snow and after midnight changing to rain uh, with 25 or so millimeters of, of rain um, and wind. The trees here are starting to move a bit but there's supposed to be sustained wind of 50 kilometers an hour and uh, wind gusts up to 80 kilometers an hour during the height of the storm in the middle of the night so could be an interesting night out here I don't know you never know in this area we still might get more rain than than snow it's uh, about zero degrees outside right now which is just at that point where another degree warmer and it could change over to rain so time will tell what we actually get I'm just about to start my entry in the cabin's log book something that uh, I picked up from uh, a friend who also has a, an internet friend, a YouTube friend, who has a, a nice cabin up in northern New Brunswick. And I try to maintain it. Sometimes I'm out here and, and forget to uh, make an entry, but uh, I've got it in mind. I've got it in front of me, so I guess it's going to happen this time. I'm going to try baking some uh, uh, buttermilk biscuits in the little Coleman oven on the Coleman stove if the gas holds out. hope it does. Um, I was going to have it filled because the gauge on it said it's almost empty and I picked it up to take it up to have it uh, filled with gas and to me it feels like it's still about half full. I think the, 
Gage doesn't know what it's talking about. So anyway, we'll make the biscuits and have dinner and uh, spend the evening out here. And I'm sure I'll come back several times and add video clips to this ongoing saga of uh, the blizzard in the cabin of the blizzard. I meant to say something to explain the silver candlesticks. <laughs> not exactly going along with the rustic cabin idea. They are actually silver, not sterling. They're silver plate or whatever. But it's something that I picked up at a auction for a few dollars many years ago. And I like it out here because it has three candles in it and that gives me plenty of light. Um, it was plenty of light to read by even, but now that I use my uh, iPad mini uh, as an ebook reader, I don't need light to read by because it illuminates itself. Anyway, there's that explained. I'm going to start making the biscuits. This is all of the dry ingredients. I already measured those and, and put them in there before I left the house. Uh, I won't bother to go over them with you, but down below in the description, I will put the recipe along with the, all of the ingredients, temperatures, and all that good stuff. Into the dry ingredients, you put one third of a cup of shortening and just sort of cut it in. I'm sure I'll eventually end up doing it with my fingers, but with two knives you can get it started anyway. Try to keep the fingers out of it as much as possible because that uh, warms it up and melts it and that isn't what you want. One good thing about the temperature now, it's just at the freezing point and I brought milk out with me to have in my coffee in the morning and with my cereal in the morning. And I've just put it outside in the snow. Not cold enough that it will freeze it and it'll keep it colder than it would be in the refrigerator, I guess. Well, I think that's, I probably haven't got to get my hands in that, I don't think so anyway few larger pieces, but those will, it's fairly soft, those will uh, get smaller in the kneading process, I guess. And to that you add two-thirds of a cup of water. It's about right. It seems to be coming together. Thought I might have to add a little extra, but probably not. I will uh, see if I can't get it together into one piece here. Yeah, I think that will work. Not used to working in such a small space. I normally have a whole kitchen that I can make a mess in. Just put a little flour on the board here to turn this out onto so it won't it won't all stick immediately to the to the board anyway. You don't want to over knead these because that will turn them into something quite tough. Just a few times to uh, get everything incorporated. It might actually be a little drier than it should be, but too late now, I guess. We'll just have to see what happens. It's supposed to make a dozen. Uh, but they're talking about something thinner than I usually do. I didn't bring out a rolling pin, so I have to shape it by hand, I guess.
I've got the little Coleman stove over there on the gas heating up. That's what all the noise is in here. I have the gas lantern going plus the Coleman stove. They both make a lot of noise. Let's see what we get here. I'm going to bake them on what's, I don't know, grilling rack probably, I guess is what it's meant to be. Came with some of the small pans that I made, bought rather, for the to use in the small oven. My idea with doing it on a grill like this, on a this kind of a surface, uh, all of the heat in that little oven comes from the bottom. And I do have a pizza stone in there which helps uh, regulate the heat a bit. But I'm always concerned that things are going to scorch. So, this I hope will eliminate that problem. Maybe not, we'll know one of these few minutes, I guess, when we get it in the oven. Well, we'll come back when I'm ready to pop these in the oven. Now, these are supposed to bake for 10 minutes at 450 degrees. Well, the oven thermometer in there, if I can get it out of the way and put the pan in, uh, is between 425 and uh, 450. I'd rather it was a little low rather than too hot. Don't mind it taking a little extra time. I just don't want them to burn up. Uh, as you can see, I put that uh, grill or I don't know, rack, whatever you want to call it. It fits down inside of a little pan. I think it's meant to be a roasting pan and I put it in that. So hopefully it will uh, not scorch the bottom of the biscuits and uh, make it easier to get it in and out of the oven. So, 10 minutes or so, we'll check it, I guess. Well, everything has been in there now for mm, 15 minutes anyway, but as I said, these were, were uh, larger than what they recipe called for. And I think they're done. They've turned to a fairly good brown and they've risen quite a bit. I'll have to turn the camera around so you can have a look at them. That oven mitt was not working too well. It was kind of hot. Let them cool, and later on this evening I'll have one of those with my cup of tea. Well, pretty soon now I'm going to start preparing my dinner. Just listen to the radio, and the forecast is saying that hours this storm could turn to rain earlier down in this end of the province than anywhere else. However, they've increased the amount of wind predicted to gusts of 90 kilometers an hour now. And uh, after it changes to rain, there could be a period of freezing rain. So it could be an interesting night anyway, I guess. I was looking at the calendar before I come out. I have a, uh, an almanac calendar, and it gives the name of the full moons. Tomorrow, Valentine's Day, the 14th, is the full moon for February. And the February full moon is called the snow moon. So how appropriate is that? Well, I have a lot of my Apple toys out here with me. I've got my iPad and my MacBook Pro. And I'm going to set the camera up now and, and let it run for a while. And I will speed that clip up when I, when I edit it in. But I'm going to get out my MacBook Pro here and, and do some editing. Well, this is a little clip that I did. Um, I don't know, it was probably about 20 minutes worth of, of the video. But I have considerably speeded it up, although it doesn't look like it when I'm sitting there editing the clips together at the computer. I'm not doing much moving. 
I've finished. Now I'm playing it back, uh, the clips prior to this particular clip. So I decided while it was playing back and listening to it, I would start preparing dinner. So I'm peeling a potato. You can see a little bit of snow outside, but uh, at this point there wasn't much of a storm, I guess. I think I went outdoors then. I, I washed the potatoes. I went outside to dump the water off the potatoes. There on the stove, cooking. And I can sit down and finish editing, I guess. Dinner is started on the stove here. That's going to be a one-pot meal. I have uh, a potato that I you probably just saw me peeling in that last fast clip that went by there. And once the potato is practically done or completely done, I've brought out a bottle of my own home canned beans, string beans, green beans. And I have a vegetarian Italian sausage, a soy-based product and Italian sausage. And will also go in there at the same time that I put the beans in, I guess. And all can be cooked in one saucepan. As such as it is, dinner is served. It's about five to six. The days are longer now. There's still a fair amount of daylight outdoors. If it wasn't all cloudy, it would be even brighter. But so far, this storm is not amounting to much unless it's really going to change in the middle of the night. Right now it doesn't appear to be snowing at all. I don't know if there's rain coming down or not. I haven't been out. But anyway, I'm going to have dinner and come back probably and give you a little update before I go to bed this evening. Well, it's now 7.30 p.m. and the wind has picked up quite a bit. A good steady wind blowing and occasional strong gust of wind. I don't know exactly what the speed of it would be, but we're getting plenty of wind and it is snowing again. I'll take you to the door here in a minute and uh, see if I can get some footage. I don't know if I can or not. I have a little flashlight I'm going to shine off into the dark and hopefully show some of the uh, snow blowing around anyway. At any rate, I've just made my tea and one of those biscuits spread with uh, cream cheese by candlelight here, and that's the only light I'm using right now, so that's why this is kind of dark. It's just candles going. Let's go have a look out the door. Well, I won't do very much of this because obviously it doesn't show off all that well, but it is snowing and there is a fair amount of wind. Well, it's about 8 p.m. now, and I'm starting to prepare tomorrow morning's breakfast. <laughs> I like uh, hot cereals. I either have Red River cereal or oatmeal most mornings in the winter time. Uh, if I were at the house, what I would do is uh, set it up to uh, cook in my rice cooker, which has a timer on it. And an hour or so before I get up in the morning, it turns itself on and cooks the oatmeal. This is called a poiki, and you may have seen one of my previous videos where I've done some cooking with the poiki. It's spelled P-O-T-J-I but pronounced poiki. It's a South African cooking vessel. I presume the word is Afrikaans in the native language of South Africa. Anyway, it's the original slow cooker. It's uh, They use it to cook stews and whatever that cook for a long period of time with tougher cuts of meat and whatever, and they're tender when they finish. And I'm going to use it to cook my oatmeal. Just on the back of the burner here, I'll let it simmer all night. And this bag has, I prepared up at the house, has two cups of rolled oats, and that's the regular large flake rolled oats, none of this instant minute stuff. Uh, a handful of raisins, and some cinnamon. I like the flavor of cinnamon in my oatmeal. So two cups of, of oats requires 
four cups of water. And we'll put four cups of water in. And when I'm, I'll have to be up in the night anyway. adding some more of the bio bricks so the fire will go out so I'll check it to see if it needs any additional water but I'm going to put it on the front of the stove now I've lost count this is at least four if it isn't five I think that was four we'll know when we count after I put this back get it on the computer there yeah. anyway on the front of the stove is the coolest part. It's it's hotter back toward the the stovepipe, so I just want it to slowly simmer overnight. And in the morning we'll have coffee and uh, oatmeal for breakfast. Well, it's after ten, and I've decided it's time to go to bed. I've read until I can't read anymore. Uh, the storm has changed from uh, snow to rain, and there's been a lot of heavy wind, so they were right about the wind, and I guess they were right about the rain, it's just it's changed earlier here than it was supposed to, and the snow started earlier, so I guess the rain can start earlier too, and we didn't get any freezing rain, so unless something happens to that effect before morning, it's just rain right now, which is probably going to melt off a lot of the snow that came down, but I'm turning in, and I'll see you at breakfast time. Well, it was certainly an interesting night. <laughs> Uh, lots of wind, lots of rain, and then around 5 a.m. this morning, a thunder and lightning storm. Didn't last for very long, but a few flashes and a couple of claps of thunder. It's, I don't have a thermometer out here that'll tell me what the temperature is outside, but it's, it's above freezing. The wind has died out, and it's not raining or anything right now. I've been listening to the radio, and schools are cancelled for the entire province. I guess roads are slushy. Uh, um, some ice up, up in the northern parts but breakfast is getting ready here my poiki full of oatmeal is done and uh, I'm starting to brew my coffee and heat milk for the cereal and for the uh, the coffee so I'll have breakfast in a few minutes and show you what it looks like outside here There's my morning coffee ready and my oatmeal with raisins and brown sugar and a bit of hot milk. I have to have my large espresso every morning with, with milk added. Um, I don't know. Latte, I guess, if you want to call it a latte. If you're in Spain, it's a cafe con leche. In France, a cafe au lait or a cafe creme. Anyway, I'm going to have breakfast and then I'll show you what things look like outside here as I prepare to go back to the house. Well, I stepped outside just to make this final clip. There seems to be enough power left on my MacBook Pro laptop that I'll probably finish editing this video before I go back to the house. Lots of smoke coming out of the chimney. It's very mild out. Uh, I just listened to the radio. The forecast again is saying anywhere from 6 to 10 degrees this morning and then by tonight dropping down to minus four so i would say that most of the new accumulation of snow that we got melted in the rainstorm but we do have a bit of fresh snow on the ground and i wanted to mention that i didn't cook all of that oatmeal uh just to throw out the excess the hens love it so i whenever i do hot cereal i always cook enough that i have my breakfast plus a take a large container out to them so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this stormy night in the cabin